Highlights from the 2010-2011 high school basketball season on KCTN FM 100. Strong takes an inbounds, goes to Jacobson, half court, he falls well short, and the game comes to an end. MFL Marmax survives a man rushed by Valley in the final minute. Hour again, double team back in the corner. Schroyer, turn around, baseline, 15 foot shot, it is long. Armstrong the rebound, put back, it is up and in in the closing second. And it suddenly came on in the River Valley. Nemechek intercepts the pass, drives in, right handed layup, it is good. 18 seconds to go. Nemechek the steal and the basket, great anticipation. Postville back offensively, during top of the key. Free throw line to Chisel. Chisel drives in, left handed shot, no good. Length the rebound, put back, no good. Rebound knocked away, slapped away, picked up by Walls, and the game is over. Central able to hang on. We're down inside, six seconds left in the quarter. Gurner with it, top of the key, tries to go right side, knocked away by Peterson, right back into the hands of Gurner. Gurner takes an off-balance three from the top of the key, banks it in, and got it at the buzzer. One and one, free throw on its way, circles in and out, just cupped right on out of there. Rebound by Kilstoff. I think they need a three this time down the floor, Dan. I don't believe you want to waste time. White left wide open for three, got it from the right wing. She heard you, Jim, launched and fired, game tied. Mosier. Floats it on up there, off the back of the rim. Eagles got a chance again. They hit a three to force overtime. White into the offensive end, seven seconds to go. Top of the key to Preston. Preston with it, right side to White. Two seconds to go. White goes left side, intercepted by Moyner. The game comes to an end. The Eagles did not get off a three, and Central escape. Five seconds to go. Corey Preston brings it across the timeline. Right side to Hour. Hour deep three, and the buzzer got it from 25 feet away. Hour spotted. Fired, hit it, and the Eagles lead by six at the break. Two seconds to go. They're out of timeouts, I believe. Kleesner throws it inbounds to Kelchin. Kelchin, an off-balance half-court heave on its way. Short, just short, and the game comes to an end. Stramont fight through to defeat their rival Edco tonight. 2.4 seconds to go. Bulldogs will take it out of bounds. It'll be Pfeiffer in bounce, looking right side covered. Back on top to Mason, over to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer 20 